Gosh, that day, when the fire started, we actually could see the four or five miles away at the, at the base of the foothills. And we thought, that's a fire that's not gonna come near us. About a half hour later, a friend of ours called and said, my backyard's on fire. And this was just down the street from where we were. So we're packing up the kids, we're getting the animals in the car, and uh, it, you could see the smoke billowing to the west of us, to the east of us, and drove away, not knowing whether or not we were ever gonna be coming back to our house. And now half of that neighborhood is gone. To think that it now doesn't matter really where you live, that the effect of climate change can impact you no matter where you are. So where do you go from here? In order to meet the climate pledges that companies, NGOs, governments have made, we've fundamentally known the things that need to be done. Uplight's role is to be that software layer, that convener, that catalyst that brings together the energy ecosystem. In order to drive increased demand for clean energy, decarbonization of homes, buildings, and transportation, and the data platform and orchestration necessary to orchestrate a grid that'll be three to five times the size when we electrify the system. Our purpose is to build a more sustainable future using business as a force for good. That means marrying the kind of capabilities that a capitalistic company has with an important mission to do good in the world by driving the decarbonization of the energy system. As a COO, I'm constantly thinking about how do we scale more efficiently, more effectively? What system are we affecting as a company in order to be on this connection to our mission? I think that software has the ability to reach everyone. So at Uplight, we are engaging the entire ecosystem. Most energy consumers don't understand what it is in their home that consumes energy and where the energy that they're consuming comes from. Our software can make small changes in those clients' homes, either behaviorally by asking somebody to do something different or automatically by controlling a device. And those small changes really start to add up to whole power plants worth of energy consumption. And that's how we deliver significant change in small ways. We have a goal of reducing carbon in the world by about 100 million tons over the next five years. And at the same time, uh, reducing the, the related customer energy bills by over 10 billion. So we believe that a climate change can be impacted not just by bringing down carbon, we can bring down costs at the same time and make it available to everybody. In a home today, you might have a smart thermostat and soon an electric car charger. The worst thing that can happen for the grid is that the car charger and the thermostat operate at the same time. They're both big loads on the grid. And, and so our job is to orchestrate those two devices, not just independently, but together to say, let's give this person a full battery when they need it and a cool house while they're living in it, all without the customer ever noticing. We're moving from being passive consumers of energy to becoming active citizens of the grid. All of a sudden now I'm generating electricity from my solar roof. I'm storing it in my car or battery. I'm making decisions in my homes that have benefits to me for my bills and for my comfort and for my carbon footprint, but also back to the grid for its capacity. Our utility clients are critical. For the last century, they've delivered cheap, reliable power to hundreds of millions of people. The challenge that they now face is to decarbonize that energy and do it at scale. Evergy is a investor-owned utility in the heartland of America. Utilities are really good at making electricity. We're really good at delivering electricity. But a place where we don't have as much experience and maybe not as much uh, of a competency is in interacting with our customers. That's not something utilities were built to do. It is something that is what Uplight was built to do. When people think about using less carbon, the very first thing they go to is renewable generation, and it's part of the solution. But it's only part of the solution. If we want to get to net zero, wind energy, solar energy matters, battery storage matters, but you can't get there from here without changing consumer habits and the way they use electricity. We need to reduce the traffic jam that exists today at certain times in our country of people using electricity by helping them through technology use less during those times or know when they can consume that it won't add carbon or congestion to the grid. The question is, 
How do we get there? Engagement, awareness, orchestration, a seamless customer experience, and that's why Uplight is a huge part of our net zero 2045 strategy and goals. Snyder Electric is an energy management and industrial automation company, and we believe that life is on when electricity is on. So we do things that make electricity safe, reliable, renewable, sustainable, efficient, and digital. Snyder Electric and Uplight have the opportunity to really impact climate change. Snyder's an impact company, Uplight is a B Corporation, so we look at the world very much the same. We take the best of Snyder, global, a multinational company with a lot of access to customers, contractors, marketplaces, and we take Uplight's software technology from grid to plug. These two things married together can really impact in a more sustainable, more renewable, and more decarbonized way. When I was 10 years old, got up to the top of a peak called Hans Peak, which is about 10,000 feet, uh, and enjoying this amazing view, blue sky day, feeling really accomplished, and saw a plume of smoke off in the distance. And I asked my counselor, what is that over there? And he said, that's the Hayden Coal Fired Power Plant. Uh, and I said, I don't like it. He said to me, well, maybe you should do something about it. And so ever since I was 10, that's been my mission in life. So the work that we do here has to happen. <laughs> I can't imagine doing anything that is more important to the future of our world, our planet, our community, my kids, than anything that helps stave off climate change and impacts everyday people and the assumptions they make about their everyday lives.